The model looks so good. Thank you so much, Scoot, for making it. Oh my gosh, we finally have a model, everybody. Now, this is not the debut stream. This is just basically the model reveal until I figure out what day I'm going to do the debut celebration. Hooray! Alice is here. Yeah, I'm here. Hooray! How is everybody? I'm doing good today. Sorry for starting the stream so late. I was busy getting everything set up for today slash for the uh, celebration stream. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hooray! 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 We did it. We have the model. We can do things again. And I have a controller. I forgot to mention the controller. Did I mention it last time? I streamed? When was the last time? Persona 4 Golden? Yeah, I don't know. I probably did. But, like, I'm also very happy. We have controller. Yeah. Controller. Hungry. <laughs> well, then you better get some food. I know, right? I just had lunch myself. Huh? <laughs> But see, since we have this model, uh, and it's not the VR chat model, it's actually using a program called VUP, V-U-P, capitals. Uh, whenever I drink something or touch my glasses, my avatar will freak out a bit, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine whenever I stop messing around with stuff. Not trying to see it too, and school to see it too. What's Alice gonna control? Well, I forgot what we were talking about. Okay, let me get a drink of water. See, watch this. Mm. Ah, this is normal. Don't worry about it. Ah. Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to stream with the model today. This is basically a test for the celebration stream. Also, I can't move around too much. Otherwise, the avatar will just stop moving. So I have to be careful. I can't track all that much. Yeah, they're not chance here. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to be streaming the ladder today. Hooray, we can move around now. And not just be a still PNG that's reactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we said the update stuff. What we're going to be doing today. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there was anything else before we start the game. Um... I'm still going to be saving up for a VR headset. That is my next main goal. Not, uh, and this is just for whenever I don't feel like using the VR headset to stream for whatever reason. Because sometimes I'll be streaming with the, the VR headset VR chat model, which looks like this model, but the teeth are uh, different. They actually have like shark-like teeth, but I couldn't get them to work in this program. And then I also have ribbons on the VR chat model. So yeah, it's only a little bit different, okay? And then, uh... After we get the VR headset, we're just gonna save up until we get a live 2D model because live 2D is our end goal, but I will always use any of these models to stream whenever I feel like it. Hooray, everybody! Um, uh, oh yeah! I wanted to also show off, since it's the model reveal, we actually have to show off the model, so... Zooming out! Let's go, everybody! Zoom! Zoom! Look, this is what we look like, full body. Woo, and we're gonna do a little spin to see the rest of it. Although, whenever I'm like, sure, the back of it, I gotta lean my head forward so you can see the hair properly. But yeah, it will go, everybody. It's an Alice -y. ha ha, yeah. No, don't ever say that again. We're getting out of this <laughs> never again. Oh my god. Um, I think I messed it up. Hang on, how, how, I zoomed out like right here and then I scroll it down. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Whoops, too close. Too close, too close, too close. There we go. I think it was around around here. I don't remember. Or maybe it was here. I don't know. So basically, this is not the debut stream. It's just a model reveal. I'm hoping this weekend or if not next week, I could do the mo uh, the debut celebration stream. Yeah. But anyway, hello, my fellow demons and angels, and welcome back to the ladder. As you can see in the bottom right corner of the screen, we now have a model that can move around for us until we have uh, a live 2D model and a VR headset, so I can have uh, the VR head, the VR chat model, etc., to be here as well. But now we can move around. It's so exciting. The debut. <laughs> You're so funny, Kelly. Listen here. 
Okay, so we last left off in the stream playing some more Zachary's story and then I felt bad because I made the wrong choice and Isabella was going to die at the end of it. So I decided to be the mad lad that I am and start the whole game over off stream and I got back to where we were for Zachary's story again, but this time we have a surprise. So a certain somebody is no longer dead anymore. Can you take a guess of who it is? Continue. If not, you'll find out here in a second. You mean... It's Isabella, everybody! Remember how she got attacked by a car in her chapter? Well, she's not attacked by a car anymore or in a coma anymore. She's alive now. We're gonna save everybody in this goddamn game, just like I did in the letter, because I... I mean, the, the little hope, because I don't care. We're saving everybody. It's Kelly. We started the game off screen again? We started the game off screen again? No, I did it the first time, remember? Ah, this is... I just left it at the safe spot. We haven't streamed the letter in a while because I've been busy uh, catching up on Neptunia and Persona 4. Okay, so what chapter are we in actually? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What chapter are we in? Uh, does it say what chapter are we in? Uh, the, the journal? Do I... Can I... Can I... Timeline. Wait, isn't there a roadmap somewhere? Branching tree. We are in chapter 3, so I need to pull open the chapter 3 guide. Let's see. Does Nanako kill people in this game too? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nanako's not in this game. <laughs> no, she does not. She's not the killer. I was ignoring the fact that I was helping her do the off game, uh, game again off screen. Listen, yeah, I never got the chance to say it because I was trying to get the guide open. But yes, Callie was there to help me make sure I picked the right choices so that I would get the ending that I want. So there. You happy now, Callie? Nanako's ghost after she dies from her sick. Listen, it. No. Uh. No. No, and the reason why I'm looking to the right like this, that's where my chat is. So it's kind of weird to be looking up while reading the chat, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so anyway, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming. Okay, we are... Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Wait, did I already... Okay, no, no, no. Where did we leave off in then? Oh, we've already seen some of these ones. So which path are we on right now? That's... I don't like this. How do I know which one I'm on right now? I guess I have to just find the one with Isabella, right? Oh, here we are, the red one. So, we are at the red one. Go back to the very beginning. Isabella is alive. Okay, I got it. So, in case whenever we make a major decision, I'll come back to the guide on my phone. Return. Hey! Yep, okay. And now, since this game is just a point uh, uh, and click kind of novel thing, I just only need to click with my mouse, and I don't need to use the controller today. Hooray! Um, let's see. There's something I can't quite pinpoint in her eyes when she looks up. Her face, a pallid shade, shoulders tense, breathing heavy, and an uncontrollable shaking in her hands she's trying to hold back. Ha hide if I don't- if I didn't know anybody. I still can't read. Turns out, after all this time, I can't still read. Hey, Zach. Sorry, I- Hey, Bella! I'm so happy you're not dead and- I mean, coma anymore. I know it's weird for me to show up at this hour, but- you are the closest to my office, Sand. Aw, but she's not a corpse! <laughs> no, 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 it's perfectly fine. I, I'm not really working on anything right now. Yeah! We're not working on ghost pictures or anything. <laughs> Do you want to come in? Is it, is it alright? I know you should be sleeping at this hour, but Eddie thought... Yeah, oh, wait, I, I think we're at a different timeline. He hasn't taken the pictures yet, has he? I forget what timeline we're on now. Yeah, sure, come on in, Bella! I'm sorry, I, I have no idea why I went here. My feet just moved on their own after I got out of the office, and... No and... worry! Stop worrying! I'm here for you, Bella! Sorry. She trails off, her voice lost in the muggy night air. I wait for her to say more, but instead her only response is a downward shift of her gaze, back to her still trembling hands as if the motion alone is enough of an explanation. A minuscule gesture. Easy to miss if one's not paying attention. But for someone who has seen the same expression on the mirror, done the same thing too many times when the night terrors are inevitable, it is not. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. Mm. At least you not. <clears throat> At least you not. <laughs> yeah, Ash doesn't knock. He just busts into my freaking apartment. As Zachary, I am. I am Zachary. Um, don't worry, Bella, every now and No! Whatever you're saying, no. No. 
Ash just barges in and crashes on the couch whenever he feels like it. Yeah, he literally breaks in. He gets a lock picket kit and just busts in my house. I swear, that guy is one fine hairline away from being a criminal. Uh, yeah, if he wasn't a freaking detective, he would probably be a good criminal. I don't know. Without waiting for her answer, I step away from the door and saunter over to the kitchenette. Alice's left eye looks a little bit sleepy. Oh, well, see, the problem with that is it's because I'm wearing glasses, so it won't track the eyes uh, as properly as it should. Uh, and also, my uh, mm, my camera is not, like, always facing directly at me because I keep moving around so much. So if it, the eyes act up, that's normal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's normal. I'm not sleepy. You would know if I was sleepy. Anyway... For a few good seconds, only the clinking of the plates can be heard above the constant tick-tock. Lit as it might be for a snack, the familiar motions keep me occupied, steering my mind away from dangerous, dangerous thoughts like murder! A ghost is gonna murder us, everybody! Isabella's company is not unwelcome either. Whatever her reason for showing up here at such an hour doesn't matter. I'd be dang if I didn't just turn her away, fragile as she is! The door clicks shut behind her when she finally enters. Feet scruffling across the, uh, against the floor. Zach's gonna murder her. No, I said the ghost is gonna murder us. Not Zach's gonna murder her. Come on, man. In all the years I've known her, she's never once lost her up, lost her ever upbeat spirit. Yet in this particular moment, as she stands in my doorway, holding her arms close to herself, it's as if I'm looking at someone completely withdrawn from the person I've come to know all these years. Do you want to drink or eat anything? Yeah, you want some food, drinks, whatever. You want to take a nappy? What do you want, girl? I haven't restocked my food stash yet, so ingredients may be a bit limited. But I'm sure I can whip something up with what I have here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just water will do, please. Okay, water! Rota huh? coming right up! No additional food requests? Oh, yeah, she likes uh, eating some ramen and whatever. That's new. I'll put something together for you anyway. Yeah, too bad. You're gonna eat food whether you like it or not. Hey, feel free to make yourself at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have the couch and everything. You ain't exactly a new visitor here. Although my room's not at its most presentable right now. Sorry. Uh, new freelance gigs and such. Uh-huh. Well, it still looks a lot cleaner than uh, I was expecting. Like, pictures everywhere or whatever. Didn't have time to fix things up here lately. <laughs> oh, the ghost. Yes, absolutely. Ah! Uh Scooty, Scoots, I said Scooty. <laughs> Scoots, redeem the pasta check. Thank you for the pasta check. Oh, I'm gonna stretch now. Ah, uh, here we go. That was a good stretch. Ow. More stretching. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, we're back it's to okay. it. I don't mind. All right, mind? Too bad. Whatever you said, we're having food. Food now. Usually she's have something more to say about that. A quip, a little, a witty remark to provoke a laughter or two. Ah, can't redeem the save. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna save now. Uh, save on this empty slot. Boom. Wow, it's so good. Oh, welcome to the stream, biz. Yeah, we have a model now. This is for whenever I don't have a VR headset and uh, a live 2D model. I'll get them in the future. Hooray, and we're saving up for the VR headset. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, oh, <clears throat> I broke my model. <laughs> I can't be moving around too much or it'll just like stop working for a minute. Ah, no, that's so sweet. But yeah, we can move around now. Who are you? Nothing from her this time. Only a week's mile before she takes a seat on the couch in a silence that stretches out until what we, until what we left hanging feels disconcerting. Oh, Leonard was here. Redeemed a uh, woo. Uh, woo. The lighting could use a little tweak. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, cause, uh, it's, um, what was I gonna say? It's a Vroid model, yes. But it's fine, I like it the way it is, it's no worries. We eventually have a live 2D model too. I love this model as well. All the models. Let's see. Yeah, the emotes, haha. -ha. Before everything turns stifling and awkward, like I always, I'm just kidding. I continue talking if only to keep the dead air at bay. A what? Uh, oh, a uh, live 2D model means it's going to be uh, the same design as what I have right now, except it's going to be more like uh, 2D, like a still picture, not 3D like I have right now. And it'll be more, more I would say more anime-ish. I don't know how to describe live 2D to someone that's never seen it before. But basically, it's going to be a, a 2D image. I broke the model again, huh? Does Al Wait, Magic 8 Ball time? Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Does Allison think she's hot in her new, her new form? Oh my god, okay. 
Magic 8 ball! I answer this dang question. Let's see what it says. Let's see, what does it say? Ah, it says very doubtful! Ha, <laughs> sucks to suck, Callie! <laughs> anyway... How's one supposed to keep a conversation going when the person you're talking to was like this? <clears throat> uh, anyway, um, gigs. <laughs> Let's talk about random topics, everybody! We're gonna talk about Zachary's job! Can you believe this one client we got? As he needs more confidence. Listen here, the, the magic eight ball has spoken. What am I supposed to do about that? Boss had all my schedule shoot shifted after they caught wind of this couple buying a new property. Huh? Oh yeah, we're talking about uh, Hannah Wright, obviously. Ha 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 ha. Man, must be nice to have all the money in the world. Ha uh, ha! I wouldn't know. I don't have money. All that. I, I don't need more money eventually. The world itself moves for you, huh? Uh, I wouldn't know. Ha. Uh, She's curled up on one side of the couch and hugging her knees close when I bring the tray carrying the sandwiches. He meant sandwiches. I want sandwiches. I thought Hana was left hand. I don't get the joke. I must have said something and I don't remember. Ah, carrying sandwiches in the water, she requested. She starts to straighten up as I'm unloading the contest, but pauses as soon as I hold up my hand in a halting gesture. You're a guest. Didn't I say you're free to make yourself at home? Aw, Zachary, he's such a best boy. Oh my gosh. Here's your water. Careful. Yeah, don't spill the water, okay? The tremor in her hands, uh, though lighter now, still doesn't subside when she reaches out for the glass. I give her a questioning look, but she is quick to uh, avert her eyes, keeping herself occupied by taking small gulps of water. Or maybe she just doesn't want me asking questions. Worrying. This sudden loss for words, this bout of quiet, norm not normally present in our chats. Even the creaking of the old chair, which I, when I casually take the seat, is a welcome break. Although the company's familiar, this has gone way past unnerving. There's something going on with this child. Come on, girl, just speak out the truth. Tell us what's going on. Interrogator, it's time for the interrogation. Uh, uh, let's see. What happened? Overtime at work? What happened? You can tell me I'm best boy Zachary. She doesn't answer immediately. Another gulp drain, drains her glass of its remaining contents. One would think that it was enough to help her recover, yet she doesn't lose her taut grip on the glass as she cradles it on her lap. Her eyes take an unfocused gaze when she speaks again. I... yeah. Huh? What do you mean, yeah? What else is it? Boss handed me extra work today. After... after what happened. What happened? To Rose. <gasps> oh, yeah! Rose is still dead. I don't think we can save Rose. That's the only character I do not think that we can save, which is very upsetting. I thought we could save her. I'm angry about it. Rose, why do I feel like you've mentioned her before? Sorry, I'm better with remembering faces than names. Oh, ha <laughs> you know Rose. She's our co-worker, oh, Isabella's co-worker. She's, was, she was my co-worker. That will take some getting used to. I was just talking to her the other day. And then something terrible happened. What is this game about? Uh, this game is basically about a haunted mansion that these two couple, two rich people are going to buy uh, that's haunted by a ghost. We haven't figured out the story of the ghost, but this ghost sends out this chain letter to this girl here, Isabella, and then she showed it to other people who are now being cursed by the ghost, and the ghost is out for blood. It's going to murder everyone, basically. And then uh, we don't know how to make the ghost stop. The ghost does not want to be appeased. The ghost just wants to murder everyone. It's about the aftermath of Persona. No, it's not the aftermath of Persona 4. How many times I'm going to tell you? Basically, we got a haunted house. We got a ghost. We got a chain letter, and we don't know how to make it stop this ghost is crazy was did she resign or something I, I think i'm missing a few details here bella you've never met her i think i did mention her once or twice it doesn't matter you probably heard her name recently from the news than me because something terrible happened I something clicks then a little memory from the night before the bright red light from the dark room, the strong odor of the stop bath, the television's barely audible murmur in the background, and a glimpse of a bloody room. The news is everywhere in the morning that follows. Just didn't think its effect will strike someone this close to oh. me. Damn. I, I, I didn't mean to bring that up. Yeah, Rose is dead, everybody. The ghost killed her, and we can't do nothing about it. No, I... Like I said, it'll take some getting used to, but it'll get better. I hope it will. I didn't mean to bring up, to bring that up with a corpse. Listen, if she's not a corpse, how many times did I tell you this is a different timeline? Isabella's alive this time. She's not in the coma anymore. You just gotta accept it. Do it. <clears throat> Things might become a little busier for me, though. 
<laughs> she left a lot of things unfinished. And I'm one of the few people in the office who knows how she works. Yeah, poor Bella. I feel so sorry for her. Boss thinks the transition will be easier if I handle it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that explains it. Well, just don't forget you still need rest. Yes, lots of rest, but not enough rest to put you back in a coma. Even the most hardworking people I know don't keep hours as late as this. Mm hmm so what's the real reason you're here, Isabella? Hell, the subway stopped running hours ago. Crime rate might be lower here than most places, but that doesn't mean you can walk around freely in the middle of the night. Yeah, there's crimes! Ghost crimes! It's just for today. Still a good thing you drop by here first. I'm not just about to let you walk out here alone, especially not in the middle of the night. Aw, Zachary's such an awesome character. I love him so Who much. Knows what else could happen? I'm not saying you should go right now, but I could accompany you home if you... No, wait, please. Ah, something's happening. She's crazy. Look at her crazy face right now. The vehement tension in her voice makes me pause, and it is in this instance that Max she's been keeping up falls apart and falling for a short while. Right then and there, I understood what's hiding behind her unfocused stare from the moment she arrived. Oh, uh, what happened? Fear. This girl's afraid of something. It's the acid clip. Yep, yep. Pure, unadulterated fear. It's disturbing to see such marring, see such marring her usual upbeat countenance. With a sigh, I cross a small distance separating us and kneel in front of her. Muppet Alice, what? No. <laughs> She doesn't flinch when I do. However, the way she appears to make herself smaller against the cat is telling enough. Bella, this ain't just about your co-worker, is it? No, no, it's not. What is it really about? I'm all ears. <gasps> ah! Jesus! The shot of shattering, the glass shattering rents through the air as soon as her hold on it loosens. In the span of a few seconds, her breathing grows labored. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Well, can you please explain it to the rest of the class and please make sure you didn't cut yourself? She clapped her hands over her ears, pressing it tightly against the side of her head. Her voice goes weaker with each word, each plea coming out of her mouth. Please, please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone right now. Aww, sleep over with Isabella. Don't go anywhere, then. Beans! What, wait, what now, Beans? I can't shake it off. Everywhere, it's... Everywhere's not safe, and... Oh, hide, hide, Isabella. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! You need to look at me! My hands are firm on her shoulder when I pull her up to look at Mayu. It takes every force of will to ignore the terror in her eyes in favor of taking control of the situation. Too close. Too similar. I said look at me! <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Be Nowhere safe we're here. safe. Inhale. Hold. Not even exhale. here. No! Stay in the Th present. We're here. We're safe. Of course we're safe. This area is safe, maybe. I don't know. The ghost could still kill us in here. I don't I'm know. Here. No one's gonna hurt you. Do you want to talk about it? The force with which she shakes her head. Oh, my head. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop doing that so much. I want to go like this, and then that didn't work. Ha! <laughs> uh, is enough reason to drop the topic altogether. No more. Please. No more. I don't want... I don't want to remember anymore. Okay, well, then for tonight, don't worry about it. You could just hang out here, I guess. I don't know. Okay, no more talking. I won't ask anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Can I get you anything? Another glass of water? I think I have a tub of that pistachio ice cream you love so much. You like ice cream? Here, have ice cream. Uh, we're going to have to clean this mess first. Will you be fine on your own for a little while? I mean, this apartment's small enough that I can go just a little bit away from her, right? She nods light me before retreating it to herself again. No more words are exchanged after that, and I take that as my cue to start cleaning the shatter, uh, the shards littering the floor before either of us get hurt. Pistachio ice cream is a weird flavor. Yeah, I was going to say something, but I don't really know because I've never had pistachio. I prefer either vanilla or cookies and cream, but I've never heard of ha or had pistachio. It tastes like, why, why would I know that? I don't, I've never had pistachio. But yes, I don't, I don't know. The quiet hum of the AC is a pleasant distraction as I go over the menial task. More so than her ragged draws of breath or my little feeble attempts to tell a quick story or two. But the latter does the trick. And soon enough, she's already drifted off by the time I return with the promised glass of water. Her chest rising and falling in a steady rhythm. The strain on her shoulder is gone. Pistachios are delicious. What's pistachios? I'm assuming it's some kind of, uh... Not, it's not like peanuts, though. It's, it's different. Oh, that's nice. I never had them before, though. Frankly, I've never seen her this still. 
She mumbles something I don't quite catch when I carry her to the empty bed and hugs herself tighter against the mess of blankets. In, sp and fa uh, in spite of the fact that she appears relaxed, a small frown on her face hasn't quite disappeared. Whatever happened to her won't be leaving her anytime soon. But for her sake, I hope it won't stay with her long. They're peanuts with mustachios. Listen here, because I'm pretty sure that's not correct. There are still questions left to be answered. But the late, uh, but the late hour, coupled with the sudden exhaustion, made my old couch a more comfortable bed than it typically is. It's the puns. Yeah, he's always good at the puns. Ah, oh, we got a journal update. Darkness immediately welcomes me as soon as my head hits the makeshift pillow. I can only wish the dreams will keep a di at a distance for now. For both of us. For both of us! October 25th, Tuesday! It's Tuesday, everybody! Wake up! Morning time! Wakey, wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! I didn't know Zach was such a poet! Haha! -ha, sometimes it sounds like he is. The first few notes, while muffled, are enough to wake me. In the end, it became one of those nights when sleep passes like a blink and is plagued with v uh, vague, fuzzy thoughts. I left a hand to rub away the drowsiness from my eyes, although it does little to relieve the gritty, burning sensation from my eyelids. Outside, the sun has yet to peek over the horizon, but night has already given way to the cool morning light, washing everything in its subtle gray hues. And the next thing we see is a corpse. No! We're not gonna be seen a corpse! No! Uh, at this hour, the entire city uh, remains unstirring. Ordinarily, waking up before my own alarm uh, means abusing the snooze button twice or thrice just to catch those uh, precious few extra minutes of sleep. I'm probably reading too fast. That's probably what my problem is. But the persistent rain makes it impossible now. <sighs> this better be good. Good morning. Morning time, Zachary. Wake the frick up. Answer the phone already. It's annoying. Groggily, I scramble for the bag sitting at the foot of the bed. The ringing still hasn't stopped even as I fish the phone out and Ashton's name flashes brightly on the screen while I turn it on. Must be pretty urgent if he hasn't dropped the call yet. Took you long enough, Z-Man. Don't call me Z-Man. How many times I got to tell you that? And also, what do you know what time it is? Ashton, it's six. Six in the morning! Six in the morning. Ah. Sun hasn't even risen. Hell, my brain ain't even awake yet. What are you doing, Zachary? Stop calling ah, me I mean, Z-Man. Ash. Yeah. It's my name's Zachary. Past six, Zach. 620? Oh. You want to talk? Give me back my five extra minutes, Ash. I want my sleep. Yeah, good night, everybody. <laughs> you just woke up and go back to sleep. Me. I can be a, a more a person, too, if I want to. Ah, you got another clip. No, we're not going to be... <laughs> Why are you clipping that? I don't even know what that is. Uh, but, Ash, you never hardly sleep anymore. You need sleep. What's this all really about? You don't usually make calls around this hour. I had to uh, rub my nose for a minute. It was itchy. World ending today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Becca rang me up a few minutes ago looking for Isabella. Said she didn't show up in her own apartment last night. We both tried calling, but her phone seems to be off. Okay, well, you see, the thing is, she's over here because she had a horrible, spooky nighttime. Do you have any idea where... <laughs> I should have known you two would come looking for her first thing in the morning. Not a laughing matter, Zach. You can't really let your guard down with everything that's happened here recently. You've heard about the Cooper one from the news. Yeah, Miss Rose. The precinct has been restless ever since the incident the other day. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, Rose is dead. I get what you mean. Listen, Ash, about... about Bella. I let my voice trail off. Not sure of how to go about recounting last night. If I should even say anything to him. He might be a close friend, but at the end of the day, whatever's bothering her ain't mine to speak of in the first place. On the bed is a mellow... Isabella remains as still as when I transferred her the night before. Sometime during her sleep, she pulls up a blanket over herself and tucked it in comfortably. Like this, it's easy to forget the horror in her eyes or how much her hands and lips trembled. She remains still. Who's still? Listen here! She's not dead! I've been talking to tell you! So, is this a visual novel? Yes, Lana, this is a visual novel game. Oh, and there's some quick times in the game, so it's not just all visual novels. So there'll be, like, other times when I have to press buttons, etc. Uh, to save people's lives and whatever. But yeah, basically, overall, it's a visual novel. Uh, almost if there's no life in it. Listen here, she's not dead! And, uh, it's an experience. Yeah, okay. Um... Save for her from grip on the edge of the cover, she appears nearly as normal as she would any other day. Almost. I'm not really sure how to go about this while being... Zach, what about her? Well, something, the worry, the concern must have surfaced in my tone because its own shifts then. I like vision novels, to be honest. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Uh, I know I don't normally do visual novels too much because uh, they don't do so well on the Twi uh, YouTube channel as much anymore. But they did a, a long time ago. So pretty much after this, it, depending on what kind of game it is, uh, I don't know if I'll do visual novels as much. Yeah. Carefully, as if he's preparing for the Look, worst. You don't have to worry about her. She's with me right now. Since last night, in fact. Yep, yep. Oh. Why didn't you just say so earlier? You kept interrupting me! I would have told you where she was if you stopped interrupting me! God dang it! <clears throat> They're like novels, except who needs less brain power? Ha, huh, I know that, right? <laughs> she kind of knocked in the middle of the night. I couldn't possibly wake you two over there. Yeah, Look exactly. How when she arrived. I thought it'd be best if I let her rest first. I just wasn't expecting people would be looking for her before the rooster even crows. Yeah, most don't translate to streams, but Dongdongrampa is fun to stream. Oh! Yeah, you're right. Uh, I actually own all the Dongdongrampa games, so I cannot wait to stream those on stream as well. I know those are also visual novels, but those ones I actually do plan on streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I played them before on the YouTube channel, but it was on the PS4, and the audio was crap. So now we're going to play it on uh, PC. Yay! Oh, well, no. Well, Zachary... You could have at least called her something. Becca's beside herself with worry when she found out. Yeah, Becca's a worrisome wart or whatever. You know how much she frets about the smallest stuff. Yeah, 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 I know that. Oh, I know, Dong Dong Rapa, it's the novel with the high school. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. I'm sorry. That was a lapse on my part. And I just didn't think, okay, you know what? Rebecca's worries ain't completely baseless. All right, time to jump right into it, everybody. Isabella hasn't been her usual self since the movie. Maybe even before that. I don't know if I should be opening my mouth about this, but Bella didn't outright say I shouldn't, so... So, yeah! So something's wrong, then? I'm not quite sure, to be completely honest. Uh, I I'm not get sure. The story out of her. Wait, hang on. Let me see my branching tree. We're still, like, right here, right? Common route. So the next big story thingy... Um... Alright, we're up here... We're going in a straight line, comment, comment, comment. And there should be a question right here and we'll be branching off. Got it, got it, got it, okay. Wanted to be sure, 100% for real quick. There is a branch! Yes, there is a branch. I'm being prepared for it. Really? I thought you'd learned something from me by now. That's not it. Ash, when she appeared at my doorstep last night, she was shaking and, and when I tried to ask her about it, she just panicked. Had this frightened look on her face. Yeah. Bella. I'd be surprised if this was the first time I've seen it, but it ain't. Dude, the first time she was screaming. First time? When was this? Yeah, when you was it? talking about the thing in the movie house, are you? Because that was just us fooling around. Granted, I think I went overboard with the joke, but... No, it happened the day after. When she invited us to lunch, you weren't there. Oh, yeah, she broke down in the middle of the sidewalk because she saw the ghost in a window or something. Yeah, I remember now. Ash looks like a Final Fantasy character. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that you said that, it's totally true. I can't unsee that now. Ha! <laughs> Ash we is the character one second from and game. Then the next. Yes, she's Final Fantasy. Out. Yeah. What? I'll be straight with you. That scared me shitless. Oh, yeah, it scared me too. I was not expecting that either. The ghost, uh, that is. He could be a boy from, from um, a boy band. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you're also not wrong about that either. But whatever his opinion is, uh, studies absent from his voice when he speaks again. He's always been good with that, hiding what he thinks. Did she say anything else? Uh, no, she doesn't want to remember. She don't want to talk about it. Nothing. Won't tell me anything aside from a few vague words. I didn't want to push it. Where is she? Is she still sleeping? Uh, let me check. Right here with me, still sleeping. Up, oh, she's still sleeping. Should I wake her up or something? Let her know you guys are looking for her? No need. Let her rest. Okay, okay. I'll drop by in a few. All right. Hey, don't you have work at this time? I mean, I can drop her off home myself before meeting my client later. Who keeps <laughs> talking? What do you mean? My schedule's flexible, Ash. Last time I checked, you're the one who didn't have that luxury. Oh, that's also true. He's all doing stuff. Ah! I forgot. It's 1.50. My first niece is going to be here soon. <laughs> Hush! Puppies! Stop bugging! For streamy time! Yeah! I have got all the puppies in my room. I have six dogs in my room. Because uh, my parents like them being in my room during the day in case uh, uh, I need to watch them and they don't get into trouble and all kinds of stuff. Oh, Alice should stay silent so that it looks like Alice is the one barking. No. Why would I do that? 
<laughs> no. Uh, let's see. Um, maybe it'll calm down in a second. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. How on earth do you think I'm able to tag along when you need me? It's not completely out of the way. They live on the other side of the town from you, Ash. Oh, they're not going to the the way is a little screwed up, you know. Uh, maybe we'll just uh, put this on pause until they stop barking for a second. Do a savey save just in case so we don't lose our progress. Save! So how's everybody's day going? <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna get some more water. Uh, hydrate time. Ah, delicious water. Alright, um... Guess the dog's gonna start barking for a second? Okay. It's fine. I have some things I need to do anyway. Okay, I just woke up having my coffee. Oh, that's nice, Lenny. Yeah. I actually woke up on time today. Well, I mean, I woke up uh, a little bit later than normal. I woke up at 6 when I was supposed to wake up at 5. But yeah! Ah. Uh, quiet dogs? Okay, they're quiet for a minute. I'll call you back. I've got to let Becca know that Scared Cat's fine. Okie dokie, bye bye now. Oh, journal updated. Ooh, the music's nice now. He drops the call before I even get a word in, and for several minutes after, I find myself simply listening as the rest of Luxborn rouse, rise, rouses death sword. The increasing sound of passing traffic, the bustle of the nearby shops preparing for the day, and the growing clamor of the people while they're going about their morning. Not the most soothing sounds to hear following a troubled night, but the routine puts me at ease nonetheless. What's comforting, uh, what's safe, what I'm used to. Ah! Speechless Alice, you can clip that. Oh my god. I can't wait to check out all these clips after the stream. Happy morning, Leonard! Yeah, happy, happy morning. Uh, nearby, Isabella shifts but doesn't wake, blissfully unaware as the city slowly stirs itself back to life. Was her little night as restless as the one I've had? Were her dreams uh, as lucid? In hush moments like this, I envy her. Unreasonable, probably a little unfair to say in such a uh, in uh, to say such in light of last night. If only forgetting is as easy as breathing. Wait, so you should not stop breathing. <laughs> a small yawn escaped me when I rise from the couch to stretch. Luckily, the short conversation with Ash has effectively driven away any will to go back to bed. I still have a day to go through, despite the proverb proverb proverbial. proverbial, proverbial Goes hanging around. The orange bottle sitting at the edge of my table is reassuring against my palm. The instant I pick it up, sterile order of the capsules equally so. Proverbs. <coughs> no, that's not the right thing. Yet the weight they carry is something I've never gotten used to. Years ago, I'd spend minutes, heck, even hours. Oh, there goes my alarm. Turn that off. Turn that off. Ah, no. Turn that off. Don't stop. Okay, there it goes. Uh, heck, even hours staring at a single pill prior to taking one in. Yeah, I don't like pills either. I actually can't eat them. They make me want to throw up, so I just take liquid medicine. Now it's just routine. A way to stay off the unwanted nightly visit. Although I don't think Dr. Navarro would be quite pleased if he ever finds out that I'm relying on them again. I do owe him a visit regardless, especially after missing an appointment on purpose and ignoring his call for weeks. How does he like some tropical music? Yeah, this music is very nice. Another sigh comes out, tired and weary. Then I pop the tablet into my mouth. Zach? What time is it? Good morning, Bella! Welcome to the waking world! Good morning, good morning, good morning! It is 6.20...